Okay, welcome to the planning board meeting, August 12th, 2024 at 6.29 p.m. And Emily, would you read that? Okay. I'd love to, really, thank you. Hmm. This meeting will be held in a hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in-person attendance and remote participation. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting slash hearing will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in any specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. The meeting will be held in person in the main meeting room, here we are, of Deerfield Municipal Offices. In accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 30A, anyone intending to record the meeting must identify themselves to the clerk and provide their name and address for the record. Right. Thanks, Emily. You're and so welcome. I appreciate your enthusiasm. All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, call to order. Um, the agenda guidelines for business meeting, please speak one at a time, follow Deerfield Code of Conduct, be respectful, considerate, courteous, concise, and recognized by the chair. That's me. Identify board members, um, Ann Buchanan. I heard her. Okay, Andrew Leapson. Here. Okay, Ann Buchanan is there. Here, yep. Emily Gaylord. Emily Gaylord here. Satu Zoller. Satu Zoller here. Rachel Blaine. Rachel Blaine here. And Denise Mason here. Excellent. Okay. Review the minutes. Uh, 513, 2024. Has everyone had a chance to review them? Are there any additions, corrections? If not, do I hear a motion? So we're going to do one at a time? Yeah, yeah I'll do. Uh, so I move that we um, approve the... 13th of May, minutes. And I'm sorry, who's speaking? That's Rachel Blaine. All Thank right. you, Rachel. We hear a second. Second. All right. All in favor? Right. Andrew Leibson? Aye. M. Buchanan? Aye. Rachel Blaine? Rachel Blaine, aye. Emily Gaylord? Emily Gaylord, aye. Satu Zoller? Satu Zoller, aye. And Denise Mason, aye. And then the second minutes uh, from 7-8-2024. Any additions, corrections? No, and I move that we accept the minutes as presented, Rachel Blaine, for uh, the seventh, uh, the eighth of Sorry. July. Right. Do I hear a second? I'm going to abstain because I was absent. Okay. She was there. Second. All right. Okay. Um, Andrea Leibson. Aye. Uh, Ann Buchanan. Aye. Rachel Blaine. I want to vote twice because I actually oh, I came Rachel. here to that remote meeting. And yes. I, you were in the court. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought it was in <laughs> person, so I was actually here. You were I, I, I. Okay. And Denise Mason, I. So uh, Emily Gaylord and Satu Zoller were absent. All right. Thank you. And new business. Let's see. The next, next amp. Landfill Solar, request for extension of site plan review decision. All right, I mean, this is just pretty basic. Does anyone want to speak to that? Does anybody? Hi, want... I'm Melinda Costello with Weston and Sampson, civil engineer, um, working with Nexamp on this project. Henry um, Barrett with Nexamp is on as well. Um, like you mentioned, we're just requesting a um, extension to the existing site plan approval for the project. It's a solar PV development located at the town of Deerfield um, existing landfill. Um, and if you have any questions, um, we would be happy to answer them, but it's just an extension to the existing permit. I think, excuse me, I think I heard most of what you said. Our yeah. sound system is not the best here. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. So just to paraphrase, if people have not heard, it's extending the request for the site plan review. Uh, there are just a couple issues because they had to uh, work with Eversource. Um, they anticipate a final resolution within the next one to two months, and we'll then be able to start construction shortly thereafter. Right. So there doesn't okay. seem to be a a time, like an extension. Right, uh, that was my question. This is Andrea. How, How long are we How extending long? it for? Until November. 20. Oh, I see. I don't think it's on here. Anyway, that's all I'm wondering. Yeah, there's no mm -hmm. not, there's not a, a huge issue, but it sounds like you're moving along. It would be good just to have a date so that we were 
we were sure not to to check back once you'd started construction. I, hi, this is Henry Barrett with, with NextAmp. Um, I think in our original request that we had submitted, um, we were just requesting a, another one year extension to the to the original one year, um, just to I think give us some some buffer so we don't need to come back like you said again if 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 we haven't strained everything out on uh, with with the town, you know the next one to two months as we said you know I think we are on track to do that, um, but I think just in in case we were asking for for an additional one year. And that goes till what date, please? So the original, sorry, the original, hold on, was November 2023. So are you asking for November 2024 or 2025? Uh, it would have been um, 2025. Because I think we were approved in, in August of 23. And then the um I think the appeal period expired in October of 23. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it was basically November, I think, by November. the time the decision was written. So, yeah, yeah so we, that would have gone to 2024. And now, yeah, you're asking for the extension to 2025. Is that November 1st then? Or November 30th? I mean, I, I'm looking for a date. I don't have the. Um, I don't have the decision in front of me. I could find it. I don't know the exact I, date of the decision. I have the decision right here. Um, so it, it was filed with the town clerk on October 25th, and that was before the appeals period started. Um, so the appeals period would have been mid-November. 20 days. Yep. Yeah, um, add 20 days to that. Um, I'm just looking at my calendar. Give me one minute. One, two... Um, so November 22nd, 2025. Thank you. All right. Um, anybody else have a question, concern? No? All right. So I'll take a vote on, do you want to, will we move? I move that we yep. um, approve an extension for um, next amp for the uh, Deerfield Landfill Solar Project. Uh, site plan review, um, extending it from November 2024 to November 22nd, 2025. That's Rachel Blaine. Right. Emily Gaylord, second. All right. Take a vote. Andrew Leibson. Andrew Leibson, aye. Ken Buchanan. Aye. Rachel Blaine. Rachel Blaine, aye. Emily Gaylord. Emily Gaylord, aye. Satu Zoller. Satu Zoller, aye. And Denise Mason, aye. So you're all set, and we look forward to seeing some action over at the transfer station. Us too. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Thanks, Henry. Appreciate Thanks. it. Okay, great. All right. Hopefully that will help reduce the cost to our municipal buildings. Mm -hmm. So, to the electricity. All right, uh, so... Now we have our 225 Greenfield Road, SPR. Notice is hereby given that the Deerfield Planning Board will hold a public hearing on Monday, August 12, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. on a site plan review application filed by Richard. Thank you. <laughs> Richard Strike Cross, okay. All right, for the property located on 225 Greenfield Road, identified in the assessor's records is map 123, lot 23, to construct a new 1,792 square foot building comprised of office space and a two bay garage pursuant to zoning bylaws chapter 179. Application documents available for review in foyer of municipal offices or online at www dot deerfieldmass dot us in the calendar event all right would you like to come up to the microphone and briefly talk about why let's see it's been what 13 years since the initial yeah building yeah Okay. Uh, JD Ross, JDR Builders. I'm Richard. Can you just, I mean, you've got to really speak. Yeah, you have to really speak into it. It's very hard to hear. No, right. That's no, maybe, maybe the, the other, try the other one. Try the other one. Try the other one. 
you're supposed to show them. Yeah. And hopefully that's hello, good. hello. There we go. Yeah. JD Ross, JDR Builders, Inc. I'm Richard's builder, and this is Richard Strykars of Walters Program. Great. Welcome. Okay, would you like to briefly explain what? Yes. You're doing? So back in 2013, Richard pursued this property, 225 Greenfield Road. Um, extensive permitting was required for this conservation, um, site plan review, zoning board. And there was a 60 by 60 building on this parcel that was approved back in 2013. He did everything on that plan except build the building. So all of the stormwater management, all of the grading, parking, everything has been done except putting the building up. And now his business has grown to the point where he needs to get his office out of his house and have a small office for um, his clerical worker. So right. this building will have a, an office for billing and so forth. Um, it'll have a handicapped bathroom, a lunchroom for him and uh, the worker and a couple of drivers that he has seasonally. And then have a storage garage, so to speak, but he can't put any propane trucks in the garage. It's not allowed. Um, so it's like a personal vehicle and uh, propane supplies, like yep. anode bags and regulators and things like that. Um, there's maybe, I would say, 10 or 12 at the most vehicle trips from the public uh, dropping off a check. There's no, there's no, nothing for sale at this building. There's no retail aspect of it. It would just drop them off a payment. That's the only thing they could do there. The building has to be built to meet ADA. So it'll have, uh, it'll be an accessible building. So I have a handicap access, handicapped accessible front door and ADA bathroom inside of it in case you had an employee that was handicapped. Um, other than that, there's no change to the property. There's, and there's, there's no grading changes. There's no parking changes. There's no lighting changes. And, Mr. Strykars has done an exceptional job maintaining the beauty of the property. It's very, very well maintained and very, very, very well kept. Do you have any questions for us? I have one question. You've decided to make it a smaller building, just haven't needed a bigger building. Is that the, yeah. Congratulations on a successful business too. That's awesome. And I was on the board for this. That's great. Congratulations. That's awesome. Nice to get it kind of in that spot. More my garden than the up there. Yeah. 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 my road. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, questions? Emily, Satu, Angie, Andrea. Wow, no questions. Um, yeah, we're, we're not open yet. Um, yeah, and you did have a peer review back in 2013, so that's good too, because yeah. oftentimes we do ask for peer review if we have questions, because we personally are not are not experts on all this, so we do um, ask to do that. Let's that's see. Expensive. And yes, um, some of the high points are no hazardous materials, um, office regular car, so yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. Um, let's see. So at this point, I think I will. Okay, no other questions. I will open it up to public comment. And if you would be so kind as to come up, or, you know, you can go, you can sit over here and speak very clearly into the microphone. As I said, the system is a little problematic. So my back. No, no, no. You have to speak right, right into like, your like, and, your please, and please state your name. Tell me who your name is. Valerie Neiman. Thank you. I live at 12 Evans Lane. <laughs> so my, my yard is just adjacent to your business. And, um, well, so do I understand that there people won't be driving in to order propane? Um, and I think my only other concern is nighttime lighting, which you see is what you get now, it's not gonna be which I think is just the, um, I think you have a, a motion detector. I do. Yeah. So that, that it'll remain that. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. You won't need any oh, for police or anything. Yeah. Can, can you please speak for? Yes, there, yeah. There's yeah. no. There's no change in the lighting okay. on the building. Uh, we might put a little LED down light in the soffit to illuminate the front just for security, but there's that's, nothing. That's, there's nothing illuminating the parking lot or anything. Uh-huh. Nothing up above. If anything, it'd be in a soffit just shining down on the front of it. Mm-hmm. Um, a little down light. Um, and there's no. Yeah, when it's windy, it, it goes on. It. Oh, the windy. Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, he does have security there because it's a retail, it's a commercial property. He has, re- I mean, he has security oh. for his things. Well, it is. I, I don't want to think of, 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 yeah, right? I think so. It's yeah. it's no, I, down the row. Yeah, it's down near me. Yeah, the, the, the new building that that'll go away, we believe. And they do go on with the wind. Yes, I know exactly. It's going. Which is no big deal because when it's that windy, I'm not going to step out there very often anyway. Yeah, th- okay. there's no services open to the public in this building other than coming to drop off a check. There's no, they can't come in and buy propane. They can't come get a tank filled. They can't. It, it's not a store open for business. It's literally so just a drop off. Probably. Of will, I mean, so I see a truck parked along the road there occasionally, and I'm wondering, is that who you we want the garage for, or is that is that the auto shop up there? Oh, that's great property, I believe. I, I'm sorry, I can't hear the second speaker at oh, all. We're, we're talking. Sorry, that's all right. It's it's just all right. Hi. Okay. I mean, uh, okay. Um. So no, I I see a truck parked from my window, and oh, it's yeah. halfway between your business and the top of the hill where the auto body shop is. Mm. So I, I so is that what? It's a it's a it's a um oh do the dump trucks are on the other side? No, this is I think it's just a personal truck. I'm guessing it's somebody that comes into work. It's a pickup truck. I don't know actually. I mean yes. But what you're asking is, is that going to be the, the truck? I guess that... I'm wondering if that's who the employee is that you wanted the garage, that you're building the garage for. No, the the garage is for his own personal vehicle and oh, for supplies. Okay. So it's not, you don't business. park there right now. No, I mean, he, oh. I mean, he's running a business out of the facility, so he does have employees that come in to do stuff, yeah, like, and it, it's an allowed use in the commercial zone. Yeah, have employees, yeah, yeah, yeah. they park on the property, but they go home at the end of the day, and um, he's hiring a, an office manager to come in to get them out of his house so that he can, yeah. you know, I'm so doing the same thing as my business. I'm propane for- trucks. There's not going to be any. Difference. It's going to be what it's been. There, there's no change in the number of propane trucks. Okay. There's no change in vehicle trips other than maybe. A handful of people are going to drop off a payment once a month. Okay. They usually drop them off at my house on Sunday, morning, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, there's no change. Well, I can ask a question, and it's probably moot because I think it's on Greg's property. But there's a light that's on every night that's really powerful. I have the light that illuminates the cage. I have a, yeah, no, no. This light is up at the top of the road. If you, you know, you go across the bridge and then you go up, the road goes all the way up to Greg's auto body and into Greg has a light there, that yeah. parking lot. That's is that his? I, yes, there's two lights. That would be his. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that might be best to have a conversation with Greg okay. about that. Yeah. I okay. think that would be good. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, I think I had it was more decorative fairy lights on the bridge. If you see those, I don't know. Yeah, I have yeah, noticed I those. That, for more, I did do that. <laughs> no, that's okay. Actually, you've been a fine neighbor. I appreciate that. Yeah. No, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well said. Yeah. Great. Thank you. All right. Um, are there any other, no other public? I don't see anybody else. So at this point, I'll close the public hearing and we will deliberate. Yep. Do you, the, uh, does the applicant have a copy of his proposed condition? Does the applicant no, have a copy yet. of the proposed conditions? I do have a copy. Amy yeah. was working on them the other day, but she yeah, didn't give it to me. Oh, you've got it. Good. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. I'm on the Wheatley planning boards. This is pretty standard to me. Excuse me? I'm on the Wheatley planning boards. This is pretty <laughs> standard to me. Although you're pretty more, more technologically advanced than we are in Wheatley. Uh, oh. 
but we have any we have any. Yeah. and nice really chairs all of that. and yeah. nice chairs mm -hmm. well, you have to get here early for these yeah i mean basically you know when i'm looking at the conditions a lot of them are you know basic conditions that um oops yeah there you go um, I think one of them that Amy did, I mean, you know, some of these are with the building inspector. You can read that. We and have, then, oh, sorry. sorry, we have already been the conservation commission and cleared right. that. So they have all of the information. Right. And there are no issues. You don't have to uh, meet with the fire commission or the fire chief because you're not going to destroy any pro uh, propane. The building is small enough that it doesn't require, it's not big enough of a square footage for the fire department. I right. have been to visit them to discuss what we're doing there. Okay, so great. there's no issues. Good, good, good. And I think they're just the other thing is that you would put a sign up saying that there's no propane stored, so people don't get upset. <laughs> did they? Did they want to do that? Because I was with Bob Walden the other day, and he said that he didn't want to put that he in. Didn't. I offered that to the fire department, and they didn't care about it. So Bob didn't want to put it in because. They didn't require it. Okay. But if you would like a little sign, I'll gladly put one in. I mean, I... I sign that says what is it? But there's they, no propane on site. There's no propane. In the building. In the building. No. So <laughs> I, 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 there, there hasn't been any propane before, so you're just doing an office, so why would... Okay. okay. I mean, there is propane on site. Right, okay. right, 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 right. All right. Yeah. Well, I think that's what it is. I think that's what. Exactly. I think that's what the concern is. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. So number ten about giving you five thousand dollars is being waived. Is that the case? In order to enable to pay the, we are not asking. These are standard conditions. I, you know, I should have looked at this one. I don't think this one needs to be here. Okay. Um, well, I'm sorry. Did I leave something in that shouldn't be in there? Amy, yeah. we're looking at number ten, the condition. I don't think it's necessary because we're not asking for peer review. Um. Oh yeah. Sorry if I left that in there by accident. Certainly, you can take that out. You can also take out the sign. I didn't realize that. That Bob. You know, that's up to you guys as the planning board. I just since okay. it had been mentioned, I put it in there. No, that's what's that, okay. uh, willing to do it. Then. We'll take out the peer review stuff. Yeah. Is it all of 10, though? It's all of 10. Yes. We just want to put that so. meaning minutes that we struck 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, when yeah. we, okay. we yeah. do. We no, just... there's there's no reason to do that because we're not asking thing. peer review. So you can just scratch that one off. Let's just make sure that that's documented in the minutes why we're omitting 10, just yes. in case Correct. there's any clarification sure. later. You. Yeah. When the All fire right. department comes through, if they feel more strongly, I don't object to putting it in. Okay. okay. Which one? I'm sorry. Regarding the sign. Oh. If the if they feel more strongly, they change their mind that they want it. There's no objection on our part. Bob didn't want to muddy it up. So if they didn't mandate it, we didn't have to do it. But I see. I see. If something changes and I have to put a sign up, I'll do it. Okay. It doesn't matter to me. All right. So at this point, okay, you won't put a sign up, but if you need to, you will. Correct. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, I mean, those are all the conditions. Um, do you, are there any questions about the, them? Any issues? No. Rachel, is there anything we should know from your last? From my last, I, 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 I can years, barely remember, remember 13 days ago. 13 <laughs> weeks ago would be a stretch. 13 years. Ah, I was on the board for this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have confessions later on that one. But I was just new on the board. I had just joined the board at that point. So I was asking a lot of really um of the new new child question new new child small child questions at the time. Very important questions, Rachel. <laughs> okay. All right. So I mean if if there are any um questions about the conditions. Then you can I do not have other than that number ten. Okay. Other than number ten, yeah. So okay. if I um, make a motion, yes. All right. So I'm going to make a motion that we um, approve. Now, what are we doing? We are approving a site plan review application. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. May I ask? Do we need to close yeah. the public hearing first? I'm sorry. Oh, I I think you do. we close the public hearing. We, oh, we need to vote on no. that. Yeah. No, you okay. closed the comment. You didn't close the hearing. I think. So, all right. I move that we close the public hearing. Second. All right. Andrew Leibson? 
Aye. M. Buchanan? Aye. Rachel Blaine? Aye. Emily Gaylord? Aye. Satu Zoller? Aye. Denise Mason? Aye. Public hearing is closed. All right. All right. And so now I'm going to uh, deliberation. And now I'm going to um, make a motion that we approve the site plan review application filled by Richard Strykars for the property located at 225 Greenfield Road, identified um, in the assessor's records as map 123, lot 23, to construct a new 1,792 square foot building comprised of office space, two bay garage, pursuant to zoning bylaws 179. And we are um, including the proposed conditions that the applicant has in front of him with the exception of number 10, which um, we ask to, to strike in this case. So it's the one that we've proposed um, that, that, should I read them all? That what? Should I read them all? No. no. Um, they're, no the applicant has. The so. applicant has them and has agreed to um, them yep. minus number 10, which is, um, um, and site plan, site peer plan, peer review. right? Peer review. Sorry, peer review. Engaging, right, to engage the assistance of outside consultants, which we do not see as important in this case. Necessary. We don't see as necessary in this case. Do I hear a second? Necessary. I, just for the minutes, we don't think it's necessary because it was already done. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And I was here when it was done. It was a lot. Not because we just. Not don't because we don't think it. it's important. We think it's important, <laughs> but they did it. Yeah. All right. I hear a second. second. All right. So All that was favor. that was um Andrew Leibson. Andrew Leibson, aye. Ann Buchanan. Ann Buchanan, aye. Rachel Blaine. Rachel Blaine, aye. Emily Gaylord. Emily Gaylord, aye. Satu Zoller. Satu Zoller, aye. Denise Mason, aye. You're all set. You're welcome. We'll do a little drive by well, to check on so progress. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. To talk to us. Yeah. Yes. And thank you. Yes. Well, it, it, yeah. everything's closed. You're welcome oh, yeah. to. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it will look beautiful. It will, yes, it will be. But it will be ugly for a little while. I do get that. All right. Thank you. Well, thanks. Thank you, for thank you all neighbor. for coming in. Oh, yeah. Well, if I walk from the corner of my property, I and also that field drain into the field of this kind of convergence of water. Okay. Drainage, would you like to come out and just uh, to, like, maybe be my that we go out there sometime and just come? I would love to do that. Actually that would that would be really good because I mean at this point the public hearing is closed, everything is closed, so you know you can yeah. Yeah. and that makes for good neighbors. Yeah. So I appreciate yes. that. Done. If that wasn't being addressed and found to be stable, it's it's it, it's independent of what we're doing. It's not in our work area where we're doing it. So the existing conditions are what they are. We're not pursuing we right. change or anything like that. We're just working on the area that was in the plan. That's what we're working on. Does it work? Water that's the Literally, we're building, we're going to, uh, on the plan that, that's gravel parking lot right now, we're going to dig maybe a foot bigger, put the building in and grade back. Oh, nice. I mean, for water management, that means I'm not going to change anything. It doesn't change from what it is. Yeah, it doesn't look like. I'm speaking about okay. the other side of the bridge. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not even sure. You're welcome to come back. Welcome to come back. We'll see you. Right. Thank you. Thanks for coming Thank in you. and good luck with the project. Thank you. All right. So, any other business? 
May I ask why, this is Andrea, why are, um, is information from CHA and the bridge, the Stillwater Bridge included in tonight's packet? Is there something we should know about that to discuss tonight? Amy, Amy included that. Go ahead, Amy. Yeah, it's, it's mail that was received. Okay. Um, okay. If, so if you want to discuss it, you know, there was a lot of mail. Okay. Thank you, Amy. I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay. Any other business not reasonably anticipated 48 hours before? No? Okay. Any reports from any committees? Uh, this is Andrea. Can it just speak very loud and clearly? Sure. This is Andrea from the Open Space Committee. Uh, the Open Space Committee met again with mm -hmm. folk, with um, Eric Malloy of Eagle Brook School. So we did that. And we had a meeting uh, on the 5th last week. And um, we are pursuing, again, Article 97, uh, protection of land and discovered that two of the pieces of land we were concerned about are already covered by Article 97 per uh, the town council. So that's really good. We're still waiting to hear about a few more parcels. And we continue to um, work and meet. And we are very gung-ho about submitting a mass trails grant in the next cycle which uh, would be due February 1st. Great, thank you. That's encouraging. Let's see, anything else? Um, I was at a select board meeting last week and I think there are architectural plans that look really good for the 1880, 1888 building, which is the former senior center. Um, I think they're going to be having some public meetings to show the plans over the course of the summer. And then eventually, I think that's coming up at our um, special town meeting. And also, I don't know if you, if you get the Greenfield Recorder, um, there was an article about the MVP, Municipal Vulnerability Projects, and the grant funding. And we got, I think, $179,000 to do a study on, um, I think, I can't remember the exact, Bloody Brook and the water infiltration. So um, we've been working on that on the MVP committee. So um, considering that we've had so much flooding in the past couple of years and we'll probably continue to get, you know, have more flooding. So that is that is really important. I, so that's one of the projects that we chose um, that we thought it was the most important, you know, prioritize. Of, you know, flooding since that's such an issue. And I'm trying to think anything else. I know that, and I haven't been downtown much, but I know the Leary lot has started it's construction. Yeah, yeah. So that's exciting. The library is cooking, going, you know, yeah. moving along. Um, I think everything's great in the temporary library building. <coughs> and um, I think that's about it. So the, a lot of things are happening. And um, trying to think. Yep, that's about it. That's all I have. And I think everyone got the uh, town hearing notices and decisions. It's quite a quite a few. And our next meeting is September 9th, twenty. When's the special town meeting? Special town meeting will be October seventh, six o'clock at Frontier. I think it starts at six, six six thirty. Yeah. Yeah, so there will be there will be a number of things on the warrant. I think mm -hmm. Open Space has something on the warrant. The Energy Committee has a couple things mm -hmm. on the warrant. I'm not really clear what else. I think for the 1888 building, um, that'll be on there as well. What does the Open Space have on for that? We are going to ask for some money because the grant that we are um, applying for requires some matching funds from the town. And you'd have to have them in place before February 1st. And so it would be before the next regular town meeting. Got it. It's not a lot of money, but it's some. Yep. 
All right. Um, so do I, you hear a motion? I make a motion that we adjourn. Oh, I'll second that motion. Oh, okay. Sorry, who made the motion? That would be Rachel. Thank you. And Emily second that. Emily. All right. A um, Andrea Liebson. I'm happy to adjourn. Yes. Ann Buchanan. Aye. Rachel Blaine. Aye. Emily Gaylord. Aye. Setu Zoller. Aye. Denise Mason. Aye. So meeting is adjourned. Thank you, Amy. All Thank right. you, Ann. Thanks, Thank you, Amy. Thanks, Andrea. Bye. Have fun. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Thanks. Okay. See ya.